Welcome everyone, this is Zonta. Today's video is on Autodesk Revit 2024 and some minor documentation efficiency enhancements to the software. Here I am in Revit 2024. I have a sheet called G01 and I have some views already placed on it. One of the new features that allows you to do is to grab all of the views that you have on your sheet, right click and say move aligned to sheet. And what this does is it moves the views off of this sheet onto another sheet of your choosing in the exact same position. So I'm going to click Move Align to Sheet, and I'll look for the sheet that I want to put it on. Click OK, and you'll see the view disappear. All the views on this sheet disappear. And if I head over to Sheet G07, you can see they're all there. Uh, the second minor enhancement is when you go to place a sheet, a view on a sheet, when you click the view command, it's in the view tab of the ribbon sheet composition panel. There are a couple things that are new. One is you can resize the view, select view dialog box. You have a search function in here as well. And you can now pick more than one view on a sheet. So let's say, for example, uh, we'll just pick something that um, we want to work with, say this one, and we hit, hold the control key down, pick the next one, and the next one, and we'll just do these four. When I click OK, they'll come in, they kind of auto align, and then you can just place it however you want. And then obviously you have to move them specifically where you want. Um, another situation you, where you might want to do that is, let's say, you have your elevation sheet and you want to bring all the elevations in. So again, selecting all of your elevation views, you can hold the shift key down or the control key down. Holding the shift key down will grab everything in between the first and the last. Control will pick just the ones that you selectively select with your left mouse button. Click OK, and they'll come in. And depending on the views that you're bringing in, uh, you may have to, again, auto-align and whatnot. So I'm just going to place it initially like this. And then once they come in, then you can either choose to adjust the scale of the view or move the views or whatever you need to do uh, to make it fit on the sheet of paper. Okay. Uh, in this case, these views are a little too large to fit on one sheet. They are set to eighth inch scale, which is pretty decent. Um, so what I would typically do is I would just leave two and get rid of the others and then create another sheet and place the other views on the other sheet. So if I select them and delete them, they're off the actual sheet. I go ahead and create a new sheet. And we'll go down the road of renaming the sheet and renumbering the sheet. and then placing the views on the sheet. And then once they're on, obviously, we can move them. So being able to place multiple views onto a sheet now, having the search function within the select view dialog box, and being able to move views that are on a sheet aligned to another sheet are some of the new features in Revit 2024. Thank you very much for watching.